going everyone? So today I'm working on one of these new Amana Speed Ovens. Uh, they're saying it's not cooking the meat, so but it's toasting correctly. So that's telling me we probably have a mag error. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot this thing like it is a Turbo Chef. So this is pretty cool. You can bring up uh, the mag test here, individual mags, which I really like. And it shows you right on the screen. So as you can see here, we're getting one point four amps getting close to two amps so we're definitely having an issue on mag one now I'm assuming it's like turbo chef we want eight amps but we'll dig deeper into that and let's run our mag number two it's really cool we can run these individually and we're hitting about the same thing here 1.9 amps alright so I just want to confirm that our amp draw is correct on the screen so we're running mag 2 right now, we're getting around 1 to 1.9 amps and we're getting 1 amp on our meter so that screen is reading correctly. Let's clamp on on mag number 1, let me run back to the front here, let's run mag number 1 and let's see what we're getting on our meter, let's just confirm that the screen is reading correctly so same thing 1.9 amps and our meter is reading 1.4 amps. So we are good there. Alright, so because I'm not super familiar with this unit, it's the first time I'm ever working on it, I did reach out to tech support. Um, apparently they are having some common issues with the uh, door switches and that will affect the mag circuit. So I looked up a door switch kit and it was like 400 bucks. So I was kind of questioning that, so I got them to send me the schematic. And based on the schematic here, actually let's just go over how this thing gets power. So we got our power in here. We're coming through F1 fuse. And then our L2 is just straight shotting to everything. And as you can see here, there's only one fuse here. This is just straight shotting all here. More importantly, what I'm looking for is this transformer. How do we feed this transformer? So let's just draw that really quickly. So we're coming through some kind of a board and relay. And it's feeding our 208 right here. So that's good. And if this fuse is good, our transformer gets power. And then once our transformer gets power, let's go look at our little mag circuit here. And we're just simply sending power out of the transformer into our magnetron through our capacitor and our diode. So it is set up basically the same way as a turbo chef. Okay, so we have the same components, high voltage transformer, and then we're going to feed our cap to our diode to our mag. All right, so let's just quickly go look at these door switches here. Let's just remove some of this stuff right here. So right here is the door switches um, in that kit that they're discussing. All right, so in this kit, here's the door switches that they're discussing, and then we have our fuses, okay? So the suggestion was to replace these first, but uh, based on that $400 cost, uh, I'm not feeling super confident, so I just want to do some troubleshooting. So the easiest way to troubleshoot this is if all these switches are good here, so this section here, and we're feeding through here, we'll have power right at our transformer, and then if we come through our L2 side, we're going to come through here, and then if this fuse is either opened or closed, so if this is closed, we're going to have power at our transformer. So the easiest way right now to troubleshoot that whole door switch uh, kit is to check for power right at this high voltage transformer. If I have power at both high voltage transformers, okay, I know the door switch kit is good and I know the fuses are good. So let's go test our high voltage transformer and that'll eliminate this whole door switch kit. 
All right, so you can see here we're testing our high voltage transformer. We did have 214 volts there. Sorry, I moved the camera super quickly. Let's go test our right side mag now. And let's go activate it at the screen. Let's run magnetron number two now. And let's go see if we have voltage there. So we know we're sending voltage because it's amping up. And we have 213 here as well. All right, so we had 214 slash 213 at both transformers. So that means this circuit's complete, which is great. That means this circuit's complete. Awesome. And let's go look at our left transformer. That's telling us this circuit is complete. And last but not least, it's telling us this circuit here's here to control is coming through, giving us our 208 on the tap here. All right, so what does that mean? It means door switches are good. Fuses are not blown, okay? So we do not need a door switch kit. So if we don't need a door switch kit, what do we need? All right, so let's go through the testing of this. So first thing, unplug it. And then we're gonna ground out our capacitors. So I cannot stress the importance of if you've not been factory trained on these speed ovens, do not even attempt to repair these. Like this thing will throw you across the room. These high voltage transformers have that much voltage. So uh, I make these literally for my techs. Anyone else watching these, that's great. If you can get use out of it, that's awesome. So right here's our two high voltage transformers. And then we're gonna come up. That's feeding our capacitor here. Both capacitors. And then the capacitor then is going to feed our little diode here, which you can see is screwed to the frame. And then we're gonna feed our magnetron. All right, so I just quickly drawn out uh, those components I just showed. So we feed power to our high voltage transformer. Okay, and then from there it feeds the cap to the diode and then eventually our load, which is our mag. Okay, so in this case, what is the issue? So as I discussed in a previous video, and I'll put a link up here, um, I really went into detail for that, how we break down which component's bad. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but all right, so just really quickly, we're gonna draw a line in the sand here, okay? So we're just gonna put a th little box here. All right, so what, what this line tells us is anything amping above eight amps, the problem's this way. Anything below eight amps is this way. So we call this, basically the high voltage side and then this is just like the regular voltage or low voltage side okay so if we have eight amps or more the problems on this side if we have and this is per circuit and then if we have eight amps or less the problem is going to be down here so in this case we have eight amps or less on each circuit Okay, we're getting two amps per circuit. So that's telling me right now that either the mag or the diode are the issue. Um, so we're just gonna go right ahead and change the mag and the diode together. And then let's see what amperage we get from there. All right, so they actually sell the diode and capacitor together. So we're actually gonna change two mags, two diodes, two capacitors, hit fast forward, and let's see what amp draws we get. So we got our parts all changed out. Now remember whenever we're testing mags, we need a load in there. I always just put a wet rag. It's good enough. You don't need to waste product for the customer. So let's start with magnetron circuit one. And we're ramping up. We're past 1.9 amps. That's a great sign. And then we're coming up to, we're above eight amps. So that's just like the turbo chef. So that's really good news. And let's just pull out this rag here and we'll know if she's working, if she's steaming. 
And look at that. She cooking. So we good there. Um, let's just go put some more water on this. And we'll go ahead and test our magnetron circuit number two. So yeah, I can't stress the importance. Do not run mags with no load in the oven. Okay, whether you're working on any speed oven or microwave. So let's go mag circuit two. And we're ramping up, we're above 1.9, so you know we're good. And we're coming up to 7.7, .7, so that's right around that 8 amp mark. So we're good on both sides of the mags. And we're ramping back up here, almost at 8 amps. So we're all good with that, I'm content with that. And you can see she's steaming again. So we're good there. Uh, last thing we want to do is cook with product. We always test with product. Um, we just want the mags to run fully. So let's throw some good old Canadian bacon in there. Hit the fast forward. And you can see they're missing that little cover in there, which we're going to have to order. Because moisture and steam will get in there and affect this board. And let's pull it out. Look at that. Fully cooked bacon. And customer is happy with that, and I'm happy with that. All right, so it was really cool there to see a new type of speed oven. Uh, these Amana ones haven't quite taken off yet in our area, but um, that one place I'm at is a chain, so they're going to be uh, definitely gonna be seeing a lot more of those. You know, we've gone away from the days when uh, Turbo Chef was king, and that's all we were working on. Now we have like a lot of Mary Chefs in the market, but the technology is really the same. We're looking for our 16 amps, 8 amps per side. Uh, all the components look identical. The only thing that looked different there was the diode, but the cap looks the same. The high voltage transfer transformer looks the same, and then the mag looks the same. Okay, obviously you don't interchange the parts. Uh, I did call tech support just to see what the amp draw should be, get a schematic, just get some general feedback on if I'm going in the right direction. And like I said in the video there, it was recommended to change the door switches. Uh, when I saw the price of that, I was like, let me pull up my schematic. And you hear me say that in every video, pull up your schematics. Okay, we just saved 400 bucks for the customer and the labor, but more importantly, the downtime. Because I would have came back with the part, put it in, I still would have had my same two amps on the mags and you know customer loses confidence in me so like i've been preaching do not be a part changer be a troubleshooter study your schematics okay and there's another video i had made probably last year or something on how we test the uh basically the high voltage transformers which feeds the cap which feeds the dial which feeds the mag and basically we have that line in the middle our eight amps so anything above eight amps, the issue is going to be on what I call the high voltage side. And then anything below that eight amp line is going to give us a mag or a diode problem. In this case, the diode came with the cap and I think it was like 70 bucks for the, for the diode and cap. So that was a no brainer. Swapped everything out. We're getting our full 16 amps amp draw and we're all good here.